Emma, you should not make matches. Whatever you say always comes to pass. I promise to make none for myself, Papa. Autumn of the Wild has this history with music videos, and something I love about this film is that there is kind of this musical, almost like choreographed quality to it. Mm -hmm. Did it did it feel different to you as actors? Was there sort of that choreographed approach to individual scenes, or very much? She has an acute visual sense of composition, mm -hmm. so she, you know, everything we couldn't turn over until. <laughs> The cameras, uh, the candles were in the right spot, and this was there, and you know, and the, the ringlets were separated, and everything was like set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's just, just so, and uh, and it and it shows in the movie. With whom will you dance? It is always the lady's right to decide on the degree of acquaintance. What about this script and Autumn's approach to? directing it, what, what really surprised you the most? Well, it's actually, it's very, very close to the book. Like, mm -hmm. we're, we're really sticking to the original text. However, um, Autumn's references are so brilliant. So she mm -hmm. made us watch Bringing Up Baby to get an idea of the slapstick comedy that we were going to be doing. And um, her musical references were really interesting. You want to take it away? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, she talked a lot about yeah, screwball comedy, those, those you know, early 30s comedy, mm -hmm. then like the Marx Brothers, and um, it was interesting having a, an American's eye on English culture as well, mm -hmm. and what she found interesting or weird, and you know, the dressing scene <laughs> at the beginning when my character turns up, you know, is not in the book, but she was obsessed with like, what, they don't have underwear, you know, sort yeah. of <laughs> shirt thing twisting underneath <laughs> them, you know, the she, she, she wanted stuff like that um, as details to make you trust the world that we're creating. Mm -hmm. You know, if you know that's underneath it all, then you, you relax into kind of believing it in its entirety. So, of course, there are a lot of adaptations of Emma over the years, Clueless being a huge touchstone, and mm -hmm. I wondered if either of you count yourselves as fans of that movie. <laughs> Big time. Yeah. yeah. Big did, time. Did that color your perception of this at all? I loved it because I got to watch Clueless a whole bunch of times and pretend it was research, which mm -hmm. in general, I'm just watching a film that I really love. And Amy Heckerling has been so sweet about the film and mm -hmm. she's really enjoyed it. We studied the, the book at school, but my memories of the book were quite hazy, so I had to be like, oh, who's this knightly? Oh, it's Paul Rudd. Yeah. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. The costumes are magnificent. Did, did they give you any issues? Were they uncomfortable at all? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, you had, you had rubbed raw uh, ears. Ear, ear chafage yeah. from the starched <laughs> collars. I come away like almost bleeding. Yeah. Like, oh, why am I? Oh, yeah, the collars. And um, I, I became friends with my corset towards the end, mm -hmm. but like there were definitely moments where I was having like panic attacks, and having a panic attack in a corset is like quite a, an experience to go through. Emma. 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 Um. Probably no separate relationship. 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 Relationship